Welcome to the IntelliDAC Validation Lite installation and configuration training video. IntelliDAC Validation Lite is a program that you insert into a Cofax Capture workflow, taking scanned images from a batch and allowing you to add redaction marks to hide privacy fields such as social security numbers. Validation Lite is installed on the Cofax Capture server. It can be run directly from the server, or with a few additional steps, you can configure it to run as a standalone application on a network workstation. Before we begin, let's review the prerequisites for a successful installation. First, you will need to download two installation programs. They are located on CSI's FTP site, and the easiest way to obtain them is by typing a URL into a web browser. Note that the FTP login, user ID, password, and directory are already shown in the URL. And here's the FTP directory. You can also use any FTP client of your choice, such as FileZilla, to do this instead. Once you're in the IDAC Lite directory, download the two MSI files located within it. In Cofax, you need to create a batch class, document class, and form type as shown here. Note that the names are arbitrary. There's no need to customize anything yet. That will occur later after we have installed and registered the custom module and release script associated with IntelliDAC Lite. And finally, the last thing you should be aware of is that IntelliDAC Lite requires the presence of Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 SP1. If this is not already present on your machine, the main IntelliDAC Lite installation program will direct you to the Microsoft website where you can obtain the software. Now let's begin the installation. I have downloaded the files from the FTP site and placed it into this directory. Start by executing the validation lite 4msi file on the Cofax Capture server. Click Next to continue. Accept all of the defaults. Click Next. Next, and then close. As a result, an exe file is placed in the Cofax program bin directory. Typically, this is at C program files, Cofax, capture, servlib, bin. I can show you that here. Run the CSI custom module exe program and on the application drop down list select validation light. Then click the create AEX file button. Click OK and then close. Next, next we want to execute the second downloaded MSI file IDACT document redactor with IDACT rel install 4.0.0.0. Click next. Accept the defaults. Next. And close. As a result of this install, an INF file is placed in that same COFAX program bin directory. and we'll see that soon. Now let's run the COFAX administration program.
To register the IntelliDAC Lite custom module, go to Tools, Custom Module Manager, click Add, and locate the Validation Lite AEX file. Click Open, highlight it, click Install. Registration is complete. Close. Close. To register the release script, go to Tools, Release Script Manager, click the Add button, locate CSI IDAC REL INF, click Open, Highlight, Install, OK, close, and close. Remember, as stated earlier in this video, it is a prerequisite that you have a sample batch class, document class, and form type already created. If you have not already done this, please pause the video and complete this requirement before continuing.